What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video grand party day number 4 for this season of January slash February 2024. Now, the thing is, is that this is, you know, heading into day 4 right now, and, you know, tomorrow being the big day, the big final day, the final push to get the, the max wins, and... The thing is, is once you have completed your matches for today, I would highly advise doing an auto setup because that's going to make it easier for everyone to reach the 15 wins. So that's what I'm doing, as you'll see at the end of this video today. I do end up doing a completely automatic team uh, and then changing my GP leader to something without a leader skill at all. Uh, that's just the thing that you should be doing. It just makes it easier on everyone. And it would be awesome if we could get the whole community to do that as it would enable us to, you know, secure those 15 victories. So, you know, especially when you have, you know, some really crazy rulings this season, the fact that you basically don't want to bring any decks or, uh, or strength teams. And considering how prevalent those colors are in Rumble and how good they typically are, getting those characters nerfed significantly obviously sucks. And it's just going to be a thing without, uh, without having to use these units and, you know, using really obscure teams this season, you know, going back to Psy teams after them being nerfed for so long is just really, really interesting. But, you know, I just wanted to give a little bit of discussion as this first team that we found here today was completely auto and was a very, very easy win completing both matches in like 30 seconds, which is wild. Moving on to the second game today, and this one was actually relatively challenging. Obviously, lucky no G5 leader burst skill or any burst skill to really worry about, but that first team, very, very scary up against a slasher team. It does have KDAD and V1 Odin. Strength units obviously receiving quite a lot of debuffs this season, so that's at least nice, something I won't have to worry about too much with the Odin and the KDAD related specials, but it is still concerning when you've got a character such as Roger and Whitebeard, which... Essentially, when he launches his special, he's going to knock out two things, and depending on investments, you know, it's basically guaranteed to knock out two things, or at least trigger revives of some of your characters. Luckily for us, though, the Quick Slasher team was able to provide some great, great synergies here, as we can have Smoothie launch very quickly in reversing their specials, and then once their HP was low and we're able to secure our GP burst skill, the Gear 5 burst was able to sweep up, and as long as Roger Whitebeard went down, that was the only real thing I was kind of concerned about. Now, obviously, with this next one, I had no idea what my opposing team was going to be, so I opted to go for a for, for the Psy team second as my blind run-in, and my whole goal here was to just jar charge the, the burst skill, and then I'll have my free spirit team with a gear 5 burst for match 3, and in most cases, that basically beats everything. Uh, so we ended up going into this one, and you know, if I had the opportunity to use my burst skill, I could just go ahead and do that. And that is exactly what I do. It was a little bit of a risky scenario to actually use the burst skill when I did, but I'm really glad that it paid off. I was able to secure the win, even though my opponent was just able to launch their skill so much faster than me, which I thought was actually kind of surprising. You know, it's basically a side mirror match, and they just somehow were able to launch their specials faster, even though we had more special CT due to us having gear 5 as our leader. But of course, it depends on the speed of your characters and such, but... You know, we're lucky to pull out a victory against this Psy team here. And now we move on to the final game of today, which is again going to be up against a non-G5 leader, luckily for us. However, this first team was really scary. Like, I didn't really have good matchups on my third game today. And this one here was, you know, starting off with a side team. Not too often do you see side teams come up first as uh, that, that first line of teams you have to get through. And for this reason, I opted to go with my Free Spirit team because it was the team I had the most confidence in. Nami Karina obviously being pretty strong with, you know, the special reverse mechanics, just making sure that we can 
negate them from using their specials, whilst also us being able to charge our skills. The only real problem with this free spirit team that I have is the fact that the only real damage is coming from, I guess, Sanji in some way, but also Gear 5 Luffy. He's like the heavy damage dealer, and he's the only way that we can really... Uh, charge our burst skill so that is a little concerning but at least we have the way of nami karina to reverse their specials a lot but you see here the opponent is applying a lot of pressure here using up all of their damage dealing specials knocking out sanji from the gear 5 skill of the opponent was really really scary here but we do have nami karina back once again so once the opponent has used all their skills with their damage I shouldn't be expecting too much damage after that because of Nami and Karina, and we basically just need to use Gear 5 skill like twice in order for us to get our burst skill, and that was able to happen, and I thought, you know, I, I don't want to lose game one, so we opted to use that burst skill, and because of that, we were able to secure the win, even though the timer actually went down quite low, I went into the final 10 seconds here, but we did get the win, which is the huge positive here, so despite it being a little bit scary towards the middle section of that game, we were able to pull out a victory. Now, at this point, uh, I almost have my burst skill ready to go again, so it's just that scenario of, you know, we'll run it, if we have the capabilities of winning, we can use the burst skill to provide that victory, otherwise, we're going to go ahead and save it, because we do see that my enemy does have Sober Mask as their leader, and Sober Mask is on the bottom team. So that leads me to believe that the bottom team will be a dex team, so I'm saving my Psy team against that. Uh, so for that reason, we have the Quick Slasher team up second. My opponent opts to have this uh, Striker-based health cut team as their secondary team here. I was a little concerned about this one. I wasn't super confident heading into it, and especially because my opponent was able to knock out the Roger and Odin so quickly. At that point, I basically knew there was no way for us to win the game. Roger Odin is the key for this team. If they go down, they cannot charge the specials of Cracker, Shiryu, and Smoothie over and over again. And for that reason, I decided to just conserve that burst skill and just go down to the final game. As I said, I was pretty much anticipating it to be a dex team last due to Serber Mask being on the bench for that team. So that makes sense. And then also due to that, uh, you know, a lot of the Dex teams have powerhouse and driven characters, so the Psy team was kind of a no-brainer against Dex, as we can nerf their CT a lot, and we can still output good damage with Gear 5 skill. We have Odin, we also have Kuzan, so I felt relatively confident going into this one, especially because we still have our burst skill, and for that reason, we did actually secure the win, which puts us at 12 victories with the final day looming, Hopefully, we can secure the 15 wins once again. We've done pretty well over the past couple of months, so hopefully we were able to do that. And of course, at the end of this clip, you guys will be seeing me change my GP team so that it's going to be a fully automated team, changing my leader, and hopefully you guys are able to do the same so that it makes it a little bit easier for everyone in day number five. That's going to wrap it up for me, though. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.